could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at the Turbo 6 about 8 weeks in and we're going to take a look at the 4 window sealants. I'm not going to mess about today. I'm going to show you me washing the wheels but hopefully it's only going to take about 15 seconds to smash through them and then we'll go on to the main feature of the video. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him instead of searching inside for what they gave him. Alright, so after what's been about 15 seconds for you was about an hour for me doing those wheels, they were pretty manky. But on to the main event of the video and we're going to be looking at the Turbo 6. How is it after 2 months, 8 weeks and how is the windscreen coatings? So, quick rinse, see where we're at. Massive difference between the upper half of the door and the lower half of the door. To be expected, the lower half of the door is going to take much more of a pounding than the upper half of the door. Noticeable signs that the product is still there up here. Not so much down here, but we'll see what happens after a watch. After a watch, after a wash. Let's have a look at the windscreen. So from the four coatings, it looks like on initial inspection, the uh, G-Technic is doing very well. The Soft 99 isn't doing as well as what I thought it was doing. The Pyramid is doing very poorly and the Auto Glance is dead as it stands just now. We'll see you again once we wash the car. Coming into the wash phase, now I do give the car a rinse off before it because mainly there was quite a lot of dust and stuff like that on it. I just wanted to get as much of that off as possible before going straight in with the snow foam. And the snow foam of choice for today is the Infinity Wax Power Foam. I figured that because we're looking at the durability of an Infinity Wax product, we may as well wash the car with all Infinity Wax products. So this is Power Foam at 10 to 1. Now, everybody in the UK knows that up in Scotland we've not been blessed with a phenomenal summer yet. So I was actually able to go in, make myself a cup of tea and drink my tea before coming out to rinse that power foam off. And if I'm being honest, it didn't even look as if the weather had done anything to it. It could probably have easily went another 10 minutes if I needed it to. Just a general reminder while I'm rinsing this snow foam off that if you are enjoying the video remember to hit that like button. If you like this kind of content remember to hit that subscribe button so that you regularly get updates. Pre-wash has been done. Now for the products that we're testing there's a few things that we can take away. It's certainly revived some of the areas of the Turbo 6. The lower doors are still very flat, the bonnet's still very flat. On the glass, the G-Technic is completely back to life. The Soft 99 Glaco is completely back to life. And the Pyramid Car Care has somewhat come back to life. The Auto Glands one is still looking pretty dead. So we'll see if the contact wash can bring anything from it and if it can bring anything back. I feel that there's going to be areas of the car that's going to need topped up with protection, but we'll do that with something else. But let's get the contact wash done.
And moving on to the contact wash now, and we're going to be sticking with the Infinity Wax Theme, and this is the Pure Shampoo. This is a highly concentrated shampoo, it can be diluted up to 2000 to 1, depending on what you need. However, I've just went for a considerable glug in the bottle. One thing I would say about this shampoo is that it's not nowhere near as thick in the bottle as other shampoos are. It feels not watery, but it's a lot more viscous than some other products like Gary's Therapy or the Squid Ink shampoos, which are two of my other favourite shampoos. Still though, a very, very capable pure shampoo. With any products, as you come to rinse them off after you've done your contact wash, is where you'd start to be hoping to start seeing the water behaviour or that protection starting to shine back through. And in this instance, we, we did actually get that. Not as well as what I would have liked to, but it did definitely start to come back. There was just a few areas that get a little bit more abuse or from the road or from the traffic film that caused a little bit of extra degradation around about those kind of lower halves of the front doors. All right, we're back. We've washed the car with a bit of contact, with a noodle, whatever you want to call them, chenille wash mitt, which after using the garage therapy wash pad, I really don't like at all. So that'll be one that's um, getting tossed. However, let's talk about the products again. The Turbo 6 is looking pretty dead in some areas. I'll show you in just a second. Lower halves of the door, some of it revived, some of it didn't revive. Uh, the bonnet's looking flat as F. The, yeah, then what else, the glass. The glass is actually looking pretty good. Auto glands is still dead. Uh, I've got a full bottle of Auto glands gla glass coating if anybody wants it, hit me up. Because uh, I'm not using it again. And, yeah, that's about it. I don't really have much time to put on new protection or strip this protection and put new protection on. So I'm going to top it up with uh, Infinity Wax Express Sealant, which I know is good, it's proven good, I've used it a lot. So I'm going to use that and then we'll get the car dried and finish up. For the express sealant, you can use it a few different ways. You can dilute it up at 10% in a trigger spray bottle, spray it on a wet car, almost very similar style to Gion Wet Coat, or you can, again, at 10% in your snow foam lance and just spray it over the car, let it dwell for a wee minute or so, and then rinse it off. I normally find that I go around the car twice with this method and it is good for using on windows and wheels as well. Just try and get it rinsed off pretty quickly so that you don't get any streaking issues. Now for me, as I didn't have the time today to completely strip off the protection that was already on the car and put new protection on, this is a great little time saver. And you can see how immediate the effects of this are. As soon as you rinse it off, you can see that water behaviour is there and that there's a little bit of protection left behind. And really, realistically, a product like this is going to give you, it claims four to eight weeks. Generally, if, I'm, if this is my only method of protection, I would be topping this up every two, every two to four weeks just to, keep, just to keep it there. And as we come into some of these closing shots here, just after looking at what the water behaviour looks like on the paint now and on the wheels. Now that we've got the car dried off, you can see that level of gloss, the depth of the colour there. For such a quick application, such fantastic looking results. However, I do have an absolute doozy of a video lined up for you, which is going to involve stripping the car, polishing the car, and taking it to a hand car wash. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely get that subscribe button clicked. Hit the like on this video and I'll leave you with a few closing shots. As always, take it easy and I'll see you on the next one.